given the nature of this conversation, it's going to bring a lot of people to it who have cancer and probably a lot of people who are at a point in their journey where they don't feel like they have a lot of different options and they mm -hmm. might be far along their cancer, you know, journey mm -hmm. stage four being, you know, one extreme or people that have other people in their lives that are dealing with cancer and, and are looking for alternatives. So where I'm going with all this, it sounds like this is all very new and there's not a lot of areas to turn for treatment of the type we're talking about today. There's a lot of roadblocks in people's way. Yeah. So if it was you or somebody that you know in your family that came to you and said, Dr. Seafried, I wanna try this. Yeah. Where do they go these days while this is so new and there's not a lot of people doing it? I know. Well, I, there, there's some small clinics that are starting to dabble in this stuff. But I, like you said at the beginning, you know, you could be shut down because you're not following uh, standard of care for, for political reasons. It has nothing to do with the, the clinical. Uh, they're shutting it down because they don't understand it. They don't know about it. But because you're not following protocol, I mean, these poor, as you said, some of these poor guys could lose their license for doing it. You will not see um, metabolic therapy uh, discussed in any degree at the top medical schools. Um, you got to deal, deal with the, they never heard of Otto, many of them never heard of Otto Warburg. Many of them never heard of what I'm talking about. So you have that wall um, uh, uh, of, of interference. And yeah, it, it's a problem. Okay, so how do we, how do we break, how do we get the word? You, you got to train physicians to know how to use the strategy, the technology. You got to, they have to be educated. They can, but this is not um, insurmountably. Some of the, the, the actual into the, the nitty gritty biochemical pathways supporting what I am saying does take a lot of in-depth knowledge and research. There's no question about it. I'm just able to take it out of the, the molecular mud and bring it into a comprehensible uh, strategy. But I'm in the mud all the time uh, 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 trying to clean up what we know and how to improve what we know. But we are already far enough along in case reports and in preclinical outcome to know this is the path forward. We already know that. So if we know that, why are we not going in that direction? Because there are all these other issues. One of the biggest ones is revenue generation. How do we, how do we keep everybody's books balanced? Uh, it's okay if I can bring in a new strategy to replace standard of care, but standard of care generates a lot of revenue. So how can we use metabolic therapy? It, who has the business model? What entrepreneur is going to step forward with a business model? Because everybody's going to be happy if I can earn as much money doing metabolic therapy as I would doing radiation and chemo. Um, but right now that hasn't happened. We, we're still looking for the entrepreneurs to figure out how to do this. Because I think the people want it. The cancer patients want it. The problem is we have this revenue issue that we have to get through. And I'm not that kind of a guy. I don't deal with trying to figure out that kind of, uh, to solve that problem. My problem, my, my goal is to show that this, be, this will be the future of cancer. It's just that we have to put the other parts of the puzzle together to make it that way. We have to have set, we can set up clinics. We can, all the top medical schools could be doing this right now with a little bit of six month training program uh, knowing, knowing how classes and re-education and research, but who's going to make the money on this, right? Where are the money, where is the money going to come from? I can manage your cancer without toxicity on the cheap. Great. Okay. How is that going to help our industry? I don't know. Somebody's going to have to figure that out, but it's going to happen. You can, you can delay it only for so long because the more and more people that are using this and the more and more people are surviving a hell of a lot longer they would have been if they had gone to standard of care is eventually going to be a grass fire. And people are going to say, I want this. You're going to have to adapt in some way because we want it. And we want it. Why? What do you think? Because we understand the biology. We're, we're actually targeting the very essence of what those cells need to survive without the toxicity. And, and we can do it. Absolutely. We, we already have the drugs. We already have the know-how. We just, we just don't have the motivation to do it. And, and that's something that I can't, I can't address. For somebody who is desperate enough and, and determined enough 
and is tuning in right now, are there clinics out of country? Is there stuff overseas people can look to down in Mexico? If you can't answer that, fair enough, but I just have to push you on it to give people something that have tuned into this point and feel like I'm desperate. And the other factor here is time, especially for people that, you know, might be more towards the end stages of cancer. They don't have a lot of time. So I just feel for people and I want them to have something practical they can grab onto at the end of this. You you feel for people. Think about how how I feel for these folks. I mean, they're coming to me. I get some letters of people that are in the end stage of their disease, and I can't believe that they could still be alive after what they have gone through in, in up to the point when they're 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 desperate. They're at their end of their 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 string here. They're going to hospice for crying out loud. And now they're coming to say, can metabolic therapy be helpful to me? And the answer is, I don't know. Um I'm not saying I'm I can't tell people, oh yeah, we have the panacea for your problem. No, I don't. I mean the, the issue here is that we have a planned strategy to manage cancer, and it's done differently than what, this, than what they do in the, in the major medical centers. So it's based on a completely different underlying theory of what the disease is. And again, they always say, if you catch the disease early, you can, you can potentially cure it. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that's true for metabolic therapy as well as it would be for standard of care therapy. But um, as you mentioned, Jesse, you now have to take, you now have to use metabolic therapy to not only try to kill the remaining tumor cells or what's ever growing, but now try to re- correct all of the massive damage that was done to your body by toxic poisons and radiation or Im- immunotherapies or, or all this stuff. So you're asking a new approach to not only solve the original problem, but to create, fix the mess that you already went through in trying to you uh, use those failed procedures to manage your disease. So this is a real um, tough thing to expect uh, on an emerging therapy uh, to try to... Now, that doesn't mean those four, those folks can't benefit from this. I have seen the paper we published on the woman with breast cancer out of the clinic in, in Istanbul. She was from, she was from Ohio, uh, advanced uh, triple negative breast cancer to the brain uh, which is really bad, liver and brain, when you get your cancer spreading to your other organs, especially the brain, it's usually lights out. And, and they said, there's no more we can do. Well, that, that woman went to the clinic and uh, she was in the emergency room for quite a while. She was near death, but they fixed her up, got her back. And she had to go through this metabolic therapy for, for a couple, three months. Uh, and eventually she uh, returned back to the United States um, and is really good. I mean, um, I, I know these anecdotal things sound crazy, but but we have her doing doing really, really well. We have evidence what her tumor was, how much it metastasized, how bad it was, and now she's alive and she's and she's looking pretty good. And that's why I think you have to look at the the survivors in the um, uh, the movie uh, Cancer Revolution, where Maggie and Brad Jones have interviewed uh, these cancer, uh, terminal, so-called terminal cancer patients who have rallied. I, I think. I think the issue is is that how how healthy is the per- if some of these people say you know I've been through everything and they tell me I only have six months left. How do you feel now? Well, I actually feel pretty good. Well, if that's the case, you may be able to adjust to metabolic therapy. But I, you know, when you somebody's calling you from hospice and they're saying, "Can you help me?" You know, it's really hard. I hate to say it, but it's 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 hard. So, uh, and it's hard for anything. They wouldn't be in hospice if something, something worked in the first place. So, uh, um, yeah, so it's a judgment call and you have to have a team of physicians that have to make those judgments, work with the patient, with the family, but at least provide them with options and opportunities that they presently might not have. It's always a hard thing to say, well, we've done everything. There's no more we can do. I mean, that's the, that's a terrible thing to tell, tell somebody, especially after you threw the kitchen sink at them, you know, spend all this money and all this crazy stuff and that and doesn't work. I mean, this is tragic. This is tragic. This whole cancer thing is just a massive tragedy, a human, human humanity, a, tra- a tragedy of humanity. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. What I'm talking to you about, almost nobody in the field knows anything that I'm saying here. And how do I know that? Because they're not using these techniques in their, in their clinics. If they, if they understood what I'm saying, they would be transitioning over to this immediately.